This old girl's an early 4020. Uh, it's a 22T, serial number 89,000. Uh, one step up from a 4010, 1964. Uh, on the cooling system, there was a bit of a disaster that happened with this tractor at one time. This is a hydraulic return line going back to the uh, reservoir and the, and the cooler. Now that that rubber coupler right here had failed at one point and uh, it had sprayed oil and went out around on not only the radiator but on the uh, cooling fins for the uh, for the hydraulic reservoir. And so that made quite a mess. Uh, whoever had the tractor didn't clean that up properly and they had taken the hose off that had failed and they had put heater hose off on that spot there and the heater hose was uh, ready to fail again and do the same thing. Uh, so this warranted taking the radiator out, taking it down to the car wash, giving it a, a good blast. So that's been done. I uh, made a little modification. Uh, this bracket here was about this long over here and wouldn't allow the radiator to come out easily past the uh, cooling fins here. So rather than bend it or whatever, I, I just got out the sawzall and I chopped this little guy down and I made a longer rod which is on the other side for the for the mounting for the radiator. Now I can easily uh, move the radiator back and forth in front of the uh, cooling fins for the oil reservoir. So a good car washing, got all that stuff out and I, uh, I wasn't able to car wash the, uh, the fins on the cooler. They were, uh, I just don't have the facilities here in, in my little place. So that being said and done, I put it in and uh, I've Protected some of the lines. I've put shielding over here. There were certain lines that were starting to show signs of rubbing. I uh, didn't want any of that. I've got a new hydraulic rated return line on here, three quarter inch, so that that hopefully will never fail again. And down here, I've put some more protectors on this stuff here. This line was almost rubbed through by the spring that holds on the side panel. Uh, perhaps the spring should have been on this other side. It was uh, very close to rubbing through, so that's been taken care of. And uh, I just put the old heater hose from the uh, engine heater on here. So there's a new hose in there that comes off the water pump and feeds the oil cooler. New hose on there where the uh, where the it comes from the water pump uh, to the oil cooler. Here's one that some people may not know is there. There's a little a little drain plug. You can let a little bit of coolant out right there. That'll drain the uh, drain the oil cooler, the the water side of it. So then there's a new hose going into the cylinder head from the top of the oil cooler. Now this this I improved. Uh, it's uh, just an, just a fitting for the uh, engine heater and the way it was before the it wasn't a nice angle so I've uh, taken and put a, a street L on here and put a hose through and if I can get some light in there you just see the hose back there and you can see a little bit of it there where it's heading behind that coupler and going to the other side So on this side we've got the thermostats, uh, not knowing what condition they were in, I took them out, I boiled them, they opened nicely and they both closed back up good and again so I just reused them. And uh, there's a new hose up there going to the radiator. To make it easier to drain the block in the future, uh, some may not like this little thing here because it's something that could break off with a stick in the bush or, or whatever, or a vibration. I think I'll be okay, this is not something that's going to see a lot of use. And uh, so now I can I can service have a line going down to the bottom of the engine heater, and I have a line coming out of the top of the engine heater, and that's the one that goes past the water pump around the other side up into the cylinder head. So that gives it a nice flow around. If I want to drain the block, now I can take this bung here out. I can put a fitting and a hose on, and I can drain the whole block down with this valve. And I'll just leave the bung in so that it can't be tampered with or uh, without tools. So 
So the radiator itself has had a couple of repairs. What's happened, uh, nobody knows. You can see the marks in there where, where tubes have been uh, repaired at one time. Something devastating has happened there either. So I'll see what this is like now that I've monkeyed with everything, put everything back together. <laughs> we'll see what happens, whether it's uh, still sealed or not. A whole lot of the fringe needed straightened, so I spent, uh, spent some time and straightened that stuff up. So this is the rod I made just uh, nice and crude uh, because the other rod was too short and not to reuse because of moving that bracket. So the at the bottom is held together with a spring and a tube so there's a little bit of give to the to the whole thing. Even when it's mounted there's a slight bit of give to it. Anyway that's about it for that. 24 liters it holds and uh, soon we'll have her running.